Hello Internet! In this video we are going to be taking a look at this really nice tool that I found for streamers or content creators like myself who need to edit a video really quickly. Um, typically you do this by importing it into a video editor, um, but a lot of those video editors are going to re-encode your video and this means that there's a bunch of time in both re-encoding it, uh, so you have to actually render the video and that takes a long time, uh, plus it just takes a lot of time to get all of that stuff set up. Uh, so a lot of times so you have a stream and you want to cut out your intro or something, you don't necessarily want to, to do all that work. It's just easier to just upload the whole thing. Um, this tool, FFmpeg, allows you to more quickly edit things because it allows you to edit a copy of a file without re-encoding it. Um, this means that, at least for me, uh, doing this is about 50 times faster. Um, it changes per video. Um, that, and I think that's pretty normal. It also depends on what I'm doing on this computer because this is my main workstation, so I'm working on it most of the time, not just encoding videos. Um, but it provides a much easier way to do it, and it's something that you can run if you're very, if you're familiar with the command line. This is something that you can use to more quickly access this. Um, so if you you have that kind of background, uh, this is a tool that might be useful, especially if you just need those really quick edits because it's something you can do in one line. Um, so that's what we're going to be doing here. Um, I have a video here that we're just going to grab and hopefully pull out the end of. Um, so in all my videos, I have like a 10 minute or 10 second outro. We're going to just extract that. Um, so we're just going to pull that bit out. Um, we'll probably do something else as well, um, just to kind of demonstrate this. But uh, FFmpeg is way more powerful than I'm going to show in this video. It, it's just a, a really powerful tool. There's a ton of things you can do with it. Uh, one of them is editing things like this. Um, the, if you want to explore it, go ahead. Uh, I do not understand or know half of the things it can do. Um, so <laughs> we're, we're going to gonna start from there. Uh, if you don't have it, you need to install it. Uh, FFmpeg supports Mac, Linux, and Windows. Um, I installed it with Chocolatey on Windows. Um, it should be on Apt and a few other things as well. Um, so if you use Brew on Mac or Apt on Debian or I, I, I forget, um, you, you can you can do that. Uh, so FFmpeg has all these things that you can provide it. Um, and this is all confusing. You don't really need to know any of this. Um, but these are all the, the parameters. This is command line stuff. Uh, if you're already confused, uh, this might not be the tool for you. I think there is a GUI based version of this, but then you're kind of getting back into that video editor thing. I, it's kind of a balance. Um, for me, I use this for like really quick things. If I just need to cut out a, a, a set amount of time at the start or something like that. Um, so the way this works is we give it FFmpeg uh, and then give it an input. Uh, so let's get back to the top and just do FFmpeg and give it an input. So dash I is going to define an input file. In this case, it's our ballistic penetration video. Um, so this is the video that I did. It's about 30 minutes long and about two gigs, two gigs, one gig, two gigs. Uh, so it's about a two gig video file in 4K. Uh, and we are going to re cut this effectively. Um, so we are going to start at some specific uh, point. Um, so dash SS is when to start the new clip. Um, there's also a dash two which is when to end whatever it is. Um, so in this case, let's actually cut out the first five minutes. Um, so hours, minutes, and seconds. We can just encode it like that. And then let's also cut off the final bits. Um, so this is going to be final bits of our video. So I actually need to open this so you might hear two of me. Uh, but we're going to actually run this. Hello, Internet. Today I wanted to take a look. And then jump to the end. <laughs> And so right around, oh, that's not, that's not useful at all. That doesn't tell me a time at all. 2755, we'll say. Um, so if we jump to 2755, that will be our end. Uh, we'll still get some of it because I didn't do this very exact. Um, you can make it more exact. I, I did this quick because it's a demonstration. We don't need to get this exact. I don't actually need this for anything. Um, this is all going away. And then the important part to do is provide a codec. Um, codecs are, are sort of how the video is encoded. So MP4 is a codec. Um, it defines all sorts of how everything's going to be 
uh, rendered and, and stored. Um, you can provide a special keyword for this called copy. What that says is do not re-encode this. Uh, it's effectively saying take the source material and reuse it, reuse it in the new copy that you're going to create. Um, so that's what we're telling it to do here. This is going to prevent it from re-encoding. If you remove this, it is going to take significantly longer. So don't do that. Um, however, one of the nice things for FFmpeg, one of the things that you can do is say, grab a clip from your video and export it as a GIF or GIF or however you prefer to pronounce it, uh, or as some other video format. So say you need to change from MP4 to FLV, uh, it can support that as well. So you you can you can transcode things to whatever video format you need if whatever platform you're you're trying to get to only takes specific formats. Um, so th those are options as well. Um, but anyway. We're going to copy it <laughs> and then we're going to send it to our copy.mp4 and this is just going to export whatever it is to our copy.mp4 uh, this will take a bit uh, it it should go pretty fast though uh, the video it should be about well, we did five minutes and then to 27 so it should be about 22 minutes uh, and we are already 10 minutes through the video um, so this goes relatively quickly it's not instant like you're not it's not going to immediately complete but if you ever rendered a video <laughs> um this is not a, a quick process ever um this is the fastest that i've found to do this um and for like stream things which are typically hours long uh, uh if you if you're trying to do that in a high resolution like 4k um i'm sorry <laughs> it's just going to take forever um Typically, the lower resolution is going to be a, a bit faster and smaller file sizes and all that. But we're already done. We've already rendered a 22 minute video uh, and it's ready for us to play. So here we go. It's full half a gig smaller. Uh, and here's here's the video. There you go. <laughs> so so wherever we are, we're somewhere in the middle of that. Um, and that is the start of it. And then we have, we would have cut off the end as well. Uh, I'm not going to go too much into that. You can play around with this yourself. Uh, the tool is relatively easy to get. Uh, again, it should support any of the normal package managers. You probably aren't going to find this in an app store, um, but I haven't really looked. Uh, it's pretty widely used and pretty well maintained. So it should be available out there. And there's pretty good documentation as well on, on the website. Um, so if you want to do this or you want to use it for something else, uh, there are a whole bunch of other applications for this tool, not just this simple case that I showed. Um, but for me, uh, one of the things that I've noticed the most is, is streamers again, uh, where you have a stream starting in five minutes thing, uh, and then the stream starts in five minutes. Uh, if you're trying to upload that to YouTube, you can just cut out that first five minutes without having to pull it into Premiere or uh, Sony Vegas or whatever, whatever you're... Your software is, is is it Sony Vegas? I don't I don't use it. Um, but anyway, you don't have to do that. You can just do this. Um, so if, the, if this is your thing, then there you go. Uh, I will leave it here because that's pretty much everything I wanted to cover. Hopefully it's simple enough. Um, I've also probably put something on my website that covers this in text. So if that's your preferred way, uh, you can go and check that out as well. There'll be a link in the description, but that's it for now. Uh, I will leave it here. And hopefully this is helpful and you can use it in whatever video you're trying to edit. Uh, so yeah, I will see you in the next video. So until then, see you internet.